The latest addition to Yandere Simulator is that the game will now keep track of whose blood and whose fingerprints are on a weapon. That might not sound special, but it actually opens up some new gameplay options. When the police investigate a murder, they will be able to tell which weapons were used to kill which students. Police will arrest a student for murder if that student's fingerprints are on the murder weapon. To help you avoid being arrested, I have added gloves to the game. Right now, the only type of gloves available are silk gloves, located in the drama club room. In the future, more gloves may become available elsewhere in the school. If Yandere-chan wears gloves before she picks up a weapon, her fingerprints will not appear on the weapon. If you commit murder while wearing gloves, your weapon will become bloody, but it can't be linked to you. Gloves won't stop blood from getting on the rest of your body and clothing. In the future, there might be ways to prevent this, but for now, it's unavoidable. You can remove gloves by holding down the disarm button, the one key if you're playing on a keyboard, or down on the D-pad if you're playing with a gamepad. Bloody gloves have your DNA inside of them, so they will count as evidence against you if you don't dispose of them. If students suspect that there is a serial killer in their school, they will become paranoid, and it will be more difficult to get away with crimes. If you want to make them stop being paranoid and restore the school's atmosphere back to normal quickly, the fastest way would be tricking everyone into thinking that the serial killer has been arrested. That means framing someone for murder. At this point in time, there is only one student who will put her hands on an object that could be used for murder. It's, yes, that's right, Coconut-chan. For the sake of this test, Kokona is a member of the cooking club. Kokona is going to prepare a meal for her friends. Poisoning that meal might be fun, but that's not what we're here to do today. Kokona is preparing that meal using a knife. We're going to wait until she's done and then take it. Okay, she's done. Now, we have to make sure that she doesn't see us. Kokona's friends are here. We don't want to let them see us. Got it. Now that we have a knife with Kokona's fingerprints on it, we need to put someone's blood on this weapon. That was easy. At the end of the day, Yandere-chan will automatically drop any weapons that she is holding. However, if you want to manually drop a weapon, you can hold down the corresponding button. For example, if you want to drop the weapon in slot 2, hold down the 2 key. If you want to drop the weapon in slot 3, hold down the 3 key. If you're using a controller, you would hold down a direction on the D-pad. Now, we just need to dispose of the bloody gloves, clean the blood off of Yandere-chan's body, dispose of her bloody clothing, and wait for the cops to arrive. <laughs> the police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Midori Gurin. The police discover a knife that is stained with the blood of Midori Gurin. The police find the fingerprints of Kokuna Haruka on the weapon. Kokuna Haruka is arrested by the police. The police question Yandere-chan, but cannot link her to any crimes. The police believe that they have arrested the perpetrator of the crime. The police investigation ends, and students are free to leave. Yandere-chan stalks Senpai until he has returned home safely, and then returns to her own home. In the future, framing a girl for murder 
may require more steps. For example, perhaps you should be required to put the bloody weapon in Kokona's book bag so that it looks like she was trying to hide the evidence of her crime. Or maybe you should be required to provide the police with a reason why Kokona would kill someone. You could steal Kokona's phone, then use it to take pictures of Senpai talking to a girl. If the police look through Kokona's phone, they would think that Kokona was stalking Senpai and preparing to harm someone. Perhaps you could even bribe or blackmail other students to make them testify that they saw Kokona committing murder, even though they never actually saw that. Maybe you could disguise yourself as Kokona and then commit murder while witnesses are watching in order to make them think that Kokona is a murder. Perhaps you should be required to make sure that the student you're trying to frame has no alibi. For example, in this situation, Kokona clearly has an alibi. Objection! If Kokona was eating food with her friends when Midori was killed, then Kokona could not be the killer. Framing a student might involve committing murder when nobody is watching the student that you are trying to frame, so that nobody can testify that the student is innocent. I would have loved to make the framing system even deeper, but this is all I was able to accomplish within two weeks. There were a lot of other things that I really wanted to add in this build, but I ran out of time. The next elimination method that I add to the game might be a really simple one, so that I have plenty of time to work on other features that I've been looking forward to. I should apologize. In my last video, I accidentally gave some people the impression that there are hidden secrets inside of the occult club. I'm sorry, there are no secrets in here. Of course... That doesn't mean that I don't have any plans. However, that stuff just isn't ready yet. Very soon, I'm going to make an important announcement on the blog regarding Patreon, funding, and volunteers. Keep an eye out if you're interested. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator. The police question Yandere-chan, but cannot link her to any crimes. Murders? What murders, officer? Oh, those murders! Sorry, I don't know anything about any murders. I'm not a murderer or anything. I'm not well-versed in murder at all. All I know is that I'm not capable of such things. Why would you ask me if I knew anything about those murders? I'm an innocent schoolgirl! Schoolgirls can't be murderers. I just want to go to school and learn things like every other schoolgirl. Who has time for murdering people anyway? We have to study for exams. Murdering people would only waste precious time. Especially for us schoolgirls. Are you insinuating that girls like me can be murderers? How terrible!